Hey, good morning out there, guys. It is Friday. I hope you're excited about it. I know I sure am. We got a live look from the tower camera. Still a little cloudy out there right now. We had some storms move in last night, but don't worry. Those clouds will not stick around long. They will be clearing here in the next couple of hours. The rain totals that we saw with that storm, though, were... Not too bad, actually. Most of you saw at least an inch of rain. Some areas saw more than that. Look at that. Almost three inches of rain uh, down near Franklin and Morgan City. It looks like about an inch to maybe an inch and a quarter here in Baton Rouge. Other areas in Baton Rouge, maybe down near Gonzales, saw about half an inch of rain. So really dependent on where you were for how much rain you saw, but most of the totals were impressive. Good totals, and it wasn't too much to cause any flooding issues. That's great. But that storm system has moved out, and we're seeing drier air settling behind it. It had lots of severe storms associated with it, but once it got to us, we didn't see too many. Uh, uh, severe incidences as it passed through, which is good news. It was just some rumbles of thunder, and I knew the risk of that was going to be low, and I'm glad to see that it was. Now, the temperatures out there right now are sitting in the mid-60s, 65 in Baton Rouge. Same goes up for our Mississippi counties. Southward, also sitting in the upper 60s, 68 in Laplace right now. The winds, though, are coming in from the south, but also kind of the west right now. They're kind of shifting from the west, thanks to that front that's to the northwest. Um, but the winds are still going to be coming in from the south, mostly for the afternoon, and that's still going to lead to warm temperatures in the evening. So we're talking about highs back in the mid-80s, some of you in the upper 80s. Notice how far north you go, Macomb, Woodville, Liberty. 84, 85 degrees. As we get farther south, we're talking about warmer temperatures. So back into the upper 80s near the 1012 corridor, 88 for high in Baton Rouge, 88 for high in Livingston. Once we get south of the 1012 corridor, those temperatures hold steady in the upper 80s, except for on the immediate coastline. So 84 in Morgan City, 89 in Gonzales for a high today. But don't forget, Mother's Day weekend is this weekend. So if you want to get out there, enjoy it. It's going to be about 88 today, but we'll see decreasing clouds today and then sunshine in the afternoon. Afternoon, and then we keep sunny skies for your weekend. So no washout expected for Mother's Day weekend. Just a lot of heat. 94 for that high on Mother's Day. So get ready for it. Prepare for that heat. It's going to be full on sunshine for Mother's Day on Sunday. And if you do want to get out there and celebrate, maybe outside, maybe do it for like an evening dinner after the sun sets because that's when the temperatures will be a little more tolerable out there. Future track radar is keeping things quite quiet throughout the day today and for tomorrow. So not much expected. The next couple of days, you'll see that warming trend. And in fact, next week, we could be back into the mid 60s. So let's take a look at that or mid 90s. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast. We got a high of 88 today, 92 tomorrow. Mother's Day back up to 94, and it just gets hotter and hotter and hotter. We're all the way up to 96 for the middle of next week. Almost every day in that forecast is going to be rain-free. As for traffic.